So when I did my good morning walk this morning, I expressed this exact concern that we are potentially going to be heading into a mortgage crisis. And if this mortgage crisis kicks off, then this could lead to even more pressure on a housing crisis and at the same time lead to a rent crisis as well because landlords are already putting up rents on their tenants. Now, they can only do so once a year, but the fact that they're already doing this is a bad sign of things to come. And... I I don't want this to happen. I, I really do not want this to happen, but I probably know something bad is coming along the way. I don't even say or know what is coming, but it is potentially going to be bad. And I think we are sleepwalking into yet another crisis. Why? Because once again, Rishi Sunak will not do anything to stop this potential crisis. This is one of the things that we have talked about constantly from every single Tory government up until uh, from its beginning, back when Cameron first came in, up until today, it is short-termism. We do not care about any problem that might come two or three years down the line. What we care is about the next six months. And I think, unfortunately, that is what Rishi Sunak and co care about and to be able to really alleviate this crisis they would have to do a lot and i mean a lot of unconservative things and because of how split and divided the conservative party is this leads to a crisis where the government just cannot do anything and just as last week i said this is a zombie parliament and if the Conservatives are in such a state where they cannot do anything, then they must get out of the way, let's have a general election, and let's get people in who can. So, as always, before we go uh, looking into this, please do remember to click on the like, share, and subscribe button. And, of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and our official link called Buy Me Coffee. We can well buy me coffee. And, of course, as always, uh, there is the YouTube thank you button and the Pony Club as well. And thank you very much, even if you just do just click on the like and share button. Like I say, every little helps, as they say. So let's go on into this, because this is, I think, a big, big problem that could only get worse and potentially really, really create a lot of very big problems. So this comes from The Guardian. With the title of the UK mortgage rate crisis driving record rent squeezes as landlords pass higher costs on to tenants. Millions of renters across the UK are being squeezed by landlords, passing on higher mortgage costs to their tenants, contributing to record rate increases, uh, adding amid to the cost of living crisis. Property experts and charities have warned that the rapid rise in borrowing costs set by the Bank of England, which this week reached interest rates of over 5%, was having a far broader impact on their own uh, owner-occupier's mortgage costs with potential to trigger a wider crisis in affordable housing. Matt Downey, the chief executive of the homeless charity Crisis, said that hundreds of thousands of people could be left unable to cover the cost of their rent and risk losing their homes. As mortgage costs increased, we are seeing the costs passed on to tenants and at a time when energy bills and food costs are so high, the pressures on renters are unsustainable. Low-income renters face a catastrophe. They can't rely on the housing benefit as it's been frozen since March of 2020 and it is completely inadequate. There aren't enough social housings to go around over to cover the millions of households that are currently on the waiting lists for the few generally affordable homes that we do have. The official figures showed this week that the private rental costs rose over an annual rate of over 5% in April, the sharpest pace on records dating back to January of 2016, while uh, rents outside of London have surged at the fastest rate on record dating back to 2006. It comes as growing numbers of landlords have put up rents in response to their own rising costs, while those unable to increase their rents are selling their properties, often pushing tenants to move. Figures from citizen advice show the number of people seeking help with no-fault evictions has more than quadrupled 
since the 2009 record levels. And that is worrying. That is incredibly worrying that we are getting to this point. And I think we are headed to a mortgage crisis. That's where I think we're going. I think this is just a case of just, once again, when we were under Boris Johnson, where we were just having crisis after crisis after crisis after crisis, and one crisis was leading on to the next and having a bigger impact on the on the, on the the upcoming crisis because they didn't solve the previous crisis correctly. So it just made the next crisis even worse. And then one after that. And I think this is what we're going to see. I think we're going to see a mortgage crisis, which I think could lead to a rent crisis, which I think could then lead even to more housing crises. And I think this is the direction where we're going. I, I really do. All the signs are unfortunately there. They're all there. It's very, very worrying because if this goes off, this is going to have huge economic consequences. This will force us into a recession. This could have other consequences on on people's businesses on all types of economic situations so this whole situation to be honest it's it's really not good and i don't know how else best to describe it it's not good it's very depressing when you when you see these things and it's even more depressing knowing full well that rishi sunak if he wanted to could pass rent controls uh again that would be a, a part of a solution wouldn't stop the crisis completely but it would be a start of again the many things the conservatives could do he could help out give some form of mortgage relief um build commit to building more social housing we know we can build thousands of social housing very very quickly if we need to like i say after the end of world war ii we rebuilt thousands and built new social homes very very quickly we, they were all prefabricated but i'll tell you what if we could do that again, build a ton of really cheap, um, you know, temporary housing, which again, you can then make permanent, you know, later on down the line, it alleviates some pressure to begin with. Well, you can then make long term plans. There is a ton, there is a ton of stuff the government could be doing. But every single thing that is on the table as a solution to potentially to Rishi Sunak's problems, he doesn't want to do. Why? He is weak. There is no way he could uh, get this through Parliament because he has absolutely zero political capital. We've talked before about how he is a prime minister governing with a majority of zero, even though <laughs> Kenny doesn't uh, have that. The Tory party is so split and divided, they even themselves cannot agree on what to do. And we are, I fear, walking into, or at least sleepwalking, or the government, shall we say, is sleepwalking into a crisis the likes of which we haven't seen. And I think that is a mortgage crisis, which again, I think will knock an effect and lead to more crises. And it's going to be very bad. Uh, it's going to be very, very bad. It really is. And it's so depressing to end on a video like, on, 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 a, on a video like this with that. But I, I don't know what good news I can deliver you. I, I, I really don't, except... Russia seems to be falling to pieces at the moment. So if you are worried, then at least you can go watch, you know, potentially Russia and probably Belarus at least fall to pieces. And I know that's not going to give you 100% confident, of course, if you are in uh, one of these situations with your mortgage or, or your rent. Um, but that's the fortunate situation we are in. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And of course, as always, we'll see you all next time.